Good morning. Buenos días. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. And welcome. The title, Etorkisunedeki's Building the Future, was chosen by the Gipufka Provincial Council two years ago. It was perhaps a bit of an ideal slogan, but uh, it's more necessary than ever, I believe, because it tells us that we need to build a fair society, a society based on equality. And in order to guarantee all of this, we need to put all the policies in motion, all the policies that have just been mentioned. The future is now, the future is here, and now is the time to uh, build it, and now is the time to sow it. And we here are proposing a true uh, transformation. A slogan that is a synthesis of how we have to respond to the challenge of building a fair and sustainable society in Guipúzcoa. And I want to remember that the future is now. In this decade, we have to implement the necessary public policies to ensure a sustainable society. We're living in new times, times that change in every moment with unimaginable challenges in which all the different known parameters are changing. I'm talking here about globalization, I'm talking about the robotization of industry, climate change, digitization, telework, all sorts of changes. Changes that will require us to rethink how we live our labour relations and even our very concepts of ownership and production. We need a new tax system that will include these changes and will guarantee a fair distribution of wealth. We need a society which is more sustainable in both environmental terms and economic and social terms as well. And this is what our future depends on. And it also uh, our inability to cope with this current crisis and other crises as well. This all depends on that. It is up to us to defend the most vulnerable, to make sure that no one is left behind, that these changes do not uh, have a negative effect on the welfare state, on the values and principles that made Europe great in the first place and that we have built in Spain and particularly in the Basque Country and Gipuzkoa. We need to build a citizen agenda that will guarantee and maintain and strengthen the welfare state. We need to build a citizen agenda to cope with the challenges of the future, such as ageing, training, sustainability and equality, so that Gipuzkoan society continue to have as its hallmark of its identity, the fact that it's one of the least unequal societies in the world. The guarantee that we'll be able to cope with the changes that will come in the future, that all of these transformations, we will be able to cope with them, despite the fact that we live in very uncertain times. And we need to do it with the instruments, the policies that we have, and the collaboration of all social stakeholders, ranging from universities, professional voc uh, vocational training centres, technology centres and social stakeholders, trade unions and business representatives. We need to intensify competitiveness and guarantee rights. We need to integrate everyone into society, into a society that's going to be a mixed society, a diverse society, but an integrating society as well. And it will require both collective and individual itineraries. Before, uh, we were talking about Elkar El Ekin Lanen and the wonderful work that it is carrying out. How can we guarantee uh, the fact that talent, new talents and new generations will have a future that will live up to their expectations? This is another major challenge. We also need to establish the labour conditions and the working conditions that are decent and dignant. Uh, we need to make sure that we have cutting-edge centres in many different areas. And this is something that we institutions have to do alongside the economic world. We really need to place, attach the value we need to the different activities, knowledge and creativity. We are an ageing society, uh, but we're also a society <laughs> that has the, one of the longest life expectancies. So we need to 
focus on active aging, making sure that people can age uh, in decent conditions. And this is a huge challenge because of its uh, dimension, but also because it is just a question of social justice. And here, the institutions need to be involved as well. They need to create the conditions necessary to make this possible for society in general and also for the third sector, uh, which is so important in our society. And here, I would like to refer to the project Adimberry, which is a wonderful example of this. Climate change. Climate change doesn't just lead us to think about environmental policies. That's not all that's involved. It means that we have to bring about a change of paradigm in all areas of life. We have to change what we think is possible, not just thinking about how to exploit natural resources and industry. We need to think about what our cities want, we want how we want our cities to be. Uh, we need to think about collective mobility and electric mobility. And here I would like to talk about what Mugi has done to... Um, harmonise different public transport fares all over Gipuzkoa. We need to uh, foster local consumption. We need to make sure that everything takes into account climate change as a fundamental factor in order not to jeopardise the existence of human beings. It needs to be one of the conditions that is taken into account in all public policies. And there are no excuses are valid. We can't just say, oh, it's a planetary scale problem. Because at a local level, we can do something. It is at a local level that we make the decisions that most affect climate change. This is what we call the uh, environmental transition and also the fair transition and the fair transition mechanisms. And this is what we need to focus on. These are policies which will uh, involve and will bring about the transformation and the decarbonisation of our industrial fabric and our economic activities. Also, we need to focus on the circular economy and the energy transition. And this is what Natur Klima is doing, for example. And we have a number of different think tanks focusing on climate change at the same time, and which uh, really helps us to connect directly with to society. And uh, it is true that citizens are the true protagonists of this green transition. We need to focus on distributed energy through different cooperatives and local energy communities. And there, the participation of local councils is key. We also need to focus on fostering alternative energies, such as solar energy or green hydrogen. And we have in Zubieta our uh, recycling plant, and also we have our Basque hydrogen corridor, all of these policies, along with others, which were all put in motion in 2016, means that we can face, with a huge amount of optimism, the different policies which are being promoted by the European Union through the different Green Deal and Next Generation programmes. And when they have been transferred or translated into Spanish, uh, the Spanish programmes called España Puede and Euskadi Next. And all of these... Uh, uh, are going to be uh, focusing, we're going to be doing, have many focuses, policies for it, which focus on the green transition and the digital transition, for example, SUR. The future is now. Thinking about the future is thinking about the present. And thinking, it's thinking about a society that is moving more and more quickly and is more and more complex. We need to make decisions now about our future. We need to establish collaboration networks with society. All of us should be participating in defining the challenges of the future and what we're going to be doing over the next five years. And this is what we're going to be talking about today. This is what we're presenting here today. We want to share with all of you our experiences, our conclusions, to hear what you have to say and incorporate your suggestions into our strategy. Between all of us, we are going to strengthen the road to the future. So, I think that the, the road has already been designed, the road map. This is why we're here. This is what we've been doing over the last five years. We have the resources. We have many uh, instruments already built, for example, the reference centres. And we've started walking down this road. 
So this enables us to position ourselves in the future, which is why we're saying that the future is now. And that is the true value of the Torque Sunei Reikis. And in this conference, we're going to be comparing it and taking stock of it with all of you. We hope to share uh, oral analysis and hear what you have to say so that we can face these challenges with greater firmness in the future. This is something that we owe to our citizens. Eskari thank you. Thank you very much.